You know, it's rare in today's NBA that a team would come together and put on a free event for fans like the Utah Jazz did tonight. It was Meet the Team Night, and the Jazz put on a great show. You all realize Donovan lost that shooting competition. Donovan didn't win. So don't cheer for him anymore until tomorrow night. Hey, everyone. 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 From half court, if you talk trash with Donovan Mitchell, he will respond like that. There was a half court shooting contest after showing off his defensive player of the year trophy. Rudy Gobert beats the buzzer in a three point shooting contest, but the team of George Niang and Nazmi True Long won the contest. The highlight of the event came at the end. This is Wyatt. He's an 11 year old battling cancer. His wish was to meet every jazz player. He did that and more. With an assist from Rudy, he makes the final points of the night. What a great scene. The Jazz first preseason game, Saturday night at 7. A Sports Beat presentation. Game Night Live kicks off now. Brought to you by Granite Credit Union. Can anyone beat Bingham? Well, the last time it happened was in the 2015 state semifinals. 31 straight games entering tonight. They've won. Could struggling Lone Peak end that streak? Well, Bingham could move to 7-0 with a win over Lone Peak in Region 4 action. Lone Peak came to play tonight. Second quarter, the Miners got it going, though. Aaron Erickson to Andrew Wimmer. It's a 55-yard touchdown to put the Miners up 7 to nothing. The Knights' defense held Bingham to 7 points in the first half. We go to the third quarter. J.D. Nealman. Aaron it out to Thomas Doman. It's a 65-yard bomb. How about this? The Knights... Spoil the Miners' undefeated season and end that streak 17 to 14. All right, Region 9, Dixie hosting Pineview. Pineview's Tosh Wright. And Dixie's Tyson Miller. They go up there, and then Dixie's Reggie Graff to Hunter Knighton. 35 yard touchdown, and Dixie. Beats Pineview 20 to 14. All right, first place also on the line in Region 6, Highland hosting Olympus. Rod had the call on the KSL TV app for our game of the week. Well, how can it get any better than this? A heated rivalry, first place in Region 6 on the line, a battle of two great defenses. Olympus is only giving up six points per game this season. Highland only giving up 11 points per game this year. So we kind of thought we would see a defensive struggle, and that's what we got with drama at the end. After a scoreless first quarter, Olympus strikes first. Jackson Frank to Noah Benny. 45-yard touchdown, 7-0 Titans. Final 30 seconds of the half, the Rams get in the end zone. Trajan Benson to Jackson Hawes, 27-yard hookup. Extra point no good, and Olympus takes a 7-6 lead over Highland at the half. After a scoreless third quarter, early in the fourth, Trajan Benson takes it in from a yard out, Two-point conversion failed, but Highland has its first lead of the night, 12 to seven. It remained that way until the final 30 seconds. Tommy Poulton for the Titans, takes it in untouched from three yards out. Extra point no good, but Olympus now has the lead, 13 to 12. Highland, one last chance on fourth down, but it ends in what else? A defensive sack, and the Olympus Titans leave Highland with a 13 to 12 win. What was it like when you crossed that goal line knowing that you guys took the lead? Oh man, it was the most exhilarated feeling. As a team, as a unit, I'm just so happy the way we played it. They're a tough team, hard battle, and I'm just proud of our defense especially. Yeah. Kept us in there the whole game. Love my boys. How does this sound? First place, Region 6. So with the win, Olympus takes over sole possession of Region 6. They remain undefeated, 7-0, as they head to Murray next week. At Highland High School, Rod Zundel, Sportsbeat. Next up, a battle for first place in Region 2 between two rivals, Hunter and Kearns, and we have an upset in Region 5. We'll show you who went down after this. All right, the football highlights continue. Wasatch has been a big surprise this season. The Wasp 5-1 entering tonight's game. A big test on the road against a very good Springville team. And the Wasps will get the ball first. Marching downfield, Brock Cloward hits Caden Smith for a touchdown, and they're up 7 0. Springville answers next drive. Isaiah Webb punches it in. Then Springville breaks out the trick play. We saw this a few weeks ago. A couple pitches, and Peyton Murphy hits his top target, Clayton Johnson. 
That led to a Springville field goal. Then to start the second quarter, Murphy to Jaden Church. Red Devils go up 16-7, and they hold on to win 29-21. Skyridge took care of business at Timpanogos after a 56-yard kickoff return. Ma'a Natoa powers his way in eight yard, 18 yards. Falcons win this one, 56-21. to 20, All right, 4-1 West Jordan on the road, taking on 2-4 Harriman. Don't be misled by that record. They've had a tough schedule. First quarter, Harriman already up 14-0. Make it 21-0. Jackson James to Blake Freeland, but Mustangs are up early in the third quarter when West Jordan... Gets a big play. Jeff Rogers picks off James, and he's off. 46-yard return for the touchdown. Cuts the lead to seven, but in the fourth, Harriman answers James to Fisher Jackson, and Harriman holds off the late rally for a 27-14 win. All right, Hunter and Kearns, Region 2 battle. Carlo Almaraz for Hunter. That's Kearns' Isaiah off of Tassi. There's the Hunter touchdown. But later on in that fourth quarter, Kearns is going to get a score, and they're going to go on to win this one, 52 to 30. Big win for Kearns. All right, let's go to Region 5. Viewmont hosting Roy. This is Viewmont running back. Robert Summerhays on the carry. He's strong. He's going to carry guys into the end zone. And the Vikings go up 7-0. Huge play here, though. Roy driving for the score. The pass is picked off. Noah Montoya. Viewmont goes on to win a close game in an upset over Roy, 21-17. 4A, Region 11, Stansbury trying to stay in first place, hosting Park City. The Miners keep it close. Jack Skidmore to Mark McCurdy for a 15-yard score. It's 14-6, Stansbury. But the Stallions answer with a touchdown drive. Silas Young caps it off. Stallions move to 5-2. Orem Tigers, homecoming against Salem Hills. Puka Nakua, the USC commit, another touchdown he can add to his resume. 7-0. Second quarter, Tigers go to the ground game. Trevor Rocky punches his way through the Salem Hills defense, 67 yards. They go 14-0, and they roll on this one, 49-14. Region 1 showdown between Weaver and Davis. We thought this would be close. Weaver was having none of it. Up 13-0 in the second, Cole Hogan. It's Brent Open, Opikins for a 53-yard touchdown, and the Warriors win this one, 43 to nothing. We got more highlights when we come back. Tim Few and Alta, a big game, but it turned into a laugher. We'll show you why next. Scoots by and in for the touchdown. A great matchup in Region Seven, or so we thought. Tim Few and Alta. Tim Few turned this into a route. Sione Moa, 170 yards rushing. He had three touchdowns. It was 41-0 at one point, and Alta goes on to win this one, 41-21. So if you didn't see earlier, Bingham lost at Lone Peak, so another unbeaten goes down. Their 31-game win streak in the state of Utah, now over. Um, Skyview won tonight. They're now 7-0 as well. So there's only four unbeaten teams left in the state. We'll have a lot more tomorrow online. KSL TV app for Game Night Live. Good night, everybody.